back again. I never considered myself a real man. In fact, when someone you are not a real man. When someone calls me a horrible man because of things I say, you on the are show, a horrible man. I take it as a compliment. <laughs> but if I was a real man, I'd be Brian DeSanto, actor, <laughs> producer, and yeah. musician. Brian, producer. there's so much to talk about. Let's get in the plug. What are you doing now, movie wise? Uh, I'm signed for a movie coming up. We start in May called Without You. It's Sonny Velozzi's movie. I think uh, we've got you scheduled for an interview. Yes. In that yes. movie, fantastic movie. I dropped 35 pounds to play this part mm -hmm. because Did you they chop wanted me. off your right leg? I chopped off everything below my waist. Okay. Um, be, uh, they wanted me to look like a boxer right, for the movie, right. so I had to get in that kind of shape. And right after this, Don't I'm Don't beat scheduled. yourself up. I'll try. Uh, right after this, I'm scheduled to be on the set of The Waltz uh, by uh, Kent, da uh, Kent Darren. Um, I play an assassin in this mm -hmm. one. It's a long stretch. Did they Boxers want you to gain 100 pounds? They want you tonight, yes. Yeah, so I was yeah. eating McDonald's all the way okay. here. Um, Besides your, 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 your passion for your craft, you are in great shape now. It's Thanks. amazing. You've lost like 30 pounds. You can yeah. box before yeah. and, and stuff. Um, you said in this, the current film where you just finished that you, that you did cho fight choreo choreography with the man who was in Creed. Who did the yeah, fight. yeah. Joey I, he, he actually put together a lot of the fight choreography for Sylvester Stallone, mm -hmm. and he built a lot of the gyms for Stallone for the movie. Uh, he just won a SAG award for what he did in that movie, and he's also in the Boxing Hall of Fame. He's my partner through this entire movie. Wow, okay. He's setting up a lot of the, the fight choreography for this movie between him and I. So I'm actually in the gym, in the ring with, with Joey. Was which it is dangerous fantastic. though? I mean um, it, there's like always, really there's like always a chance that you're going to get hit and hurt. And yeah, I've been hurt quite a few times. I do all my own stunts. Were you wear, wearing your head, the headgear? No, we don't wear any headgear. Uh, we just, we just throw punches, right? You know, as we try and. But you got some body shots in? Yeah, yeah. We, 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 there's some little tagging. It's, we, you try not to hit each other hard, but sometimes, you know, you lose control. I, I, I've been hurt on set. I hurt one poor fellow on set. Um, of one of the TV shows. Could I you did. demonstrate on Adam? Sure. You want to? You want to? You want? You want to stand up, Adam? You sure. Want, you want to sh teach a, a, a Gotta point? watch out with this helmet. Okay. Yeah. okay. So okay. where's, right where's, right there. where's the camera? Target. There's your target. Where's Where's the camera? Is it behind me? Show edit it. She'll get it right. Put it, put, it, put it behind me. So if I were to hit you with a hook, mm -hmm. so I would swing it yeah. slowly. He says swing so it out this way. Your head's got to follow it. Right. Right. So again, slow. Head's got to follow yeah. it. He says and then they loop in the sound. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Okay. And. I'll well, edit that in and make right, it look right. make it look right. I almost felt the pain anyway. <laughs> <laughs> also, he's got a big target. <laughs> why is he here? It just gets, it's, I, like, I, it's like an albatross. He's, he's you know, his him. imaginary friends don't want to be with him. But he's he, pretty. He said the worst thing about your mother before the show. Really? Was, What'd you say? He's, about North, he's an Italian from so North horrible. Philly. Don't do that, please. Yeah. Don't, don't even joke about it. Sure. You, yeah. Um, you also. Uh, you know why Italian men grow mustaches? Why? To look more like their mothers. Oh. I heard those growing up. I did up. not know that. Yeah. I heard those growing up. Um, you also, before we get into your more private life, you're on Broadway, and you said you said it was a physical ordeal there too. Briefly. It was well. It was two different shows. The really, really hard one was the Great American Trailer Park Christmas Musical, and it was a lot of physical comedy, a lot of choreography, a lot of singing, and I was with such talented, talented, fantastic people, and I was expected to do a lot of falls and a lot of physical comedy, mm -hmm. and it, it, we had 24 shows in five weeks. And now you're addicted to Vicodin. And I'm addicted to everything. Yeah. No, but you said no. it sounded like you'd gone through it's, hell when you. It's, it, I, I wound up with a bone spur in my elbow and dislocating a hip and uh, dislocating a shoulder and doing something to my neck where I had to I had to kind of be manipulated once a week to get this gigantic knot out of my well, out of well, my God, back. Well, physical comedians like Jerry Lewis, was Chevy Chase, Chase what Dick Van Dyke. I mean, they they actually hurt themselves and started medicating on J it. And Jerry it Lewis broke his back. He fell off a stage and broke his back. Oh, and doesn't remember the next seven years of his life because he was addicted to birth. Right, I mean, he almost yeah. killed himself. He yeah, was right. and that's what happens. They put you on oxycodone or something like that, and you... I could dig that. Yeah. Yeah. Happy 90th birthday to Jerry What do you like best? He 90 today. Jerry I know. Lewis, 90 today. The devil doesn't die. That's what no, he doesn't. Said. Um, what do you like better, though? The rush from a live audience? Or do you like films and apple or and oranges? I was just talking mistakes? to this beautiful young woman in your in your green room out there. And, Araya? And, right, yeah. Right. And uh, there is nothing like being in front of an audience. There's no... There's no safety net. There's no. There's nothing there but us. We all have to depend on each other to get through that moment. If it falls apart, you gotta try and keep moving. Yeah. 
Yeah. You yeah. got it, and it's happened. Forget People, it. I've completely forgot. I've completely blown my lines. Through two or three times. As a matter of fact, we had a matinee and a night show. Both shows, I stunk. So you have to I trust your anything. coworkers to help bring you back. You have to. You, you have, have to, to trust, trust each other, and right. you have to have faith in each other. You're but at the really same time, I mean, you want to give a professional performance. Yeah. And at yeah. least in a film where you can retake that and get your best performance. Yeah, well, that's that's the safety net of film is that you can keep rolling, or if you drop a line, you can say keep rolling, keep rolling, or cut, or edit, or if you get hurt, you put some ice on it, get some makeup on. If you get hurt on stage, you got to get up and keep going. Have you been hurt? I've I've been hurt several times on stage, and you got to get up and keep going. No timeouts. Nope. No. Nope. Well, you know, let's get into your you have a tumultuous life. I think it feeds your art, though. <laughs> I mean, girlfriends, f women, uh, you don't sleep at night, parties, nuances. How do you prepare to be on stage then? How, you just go on, the adrenaline hits? Perko dance. <laughs> I mean, no, really. But I listen to your life, um, man. I mean, you, you know, you're the 24-7 man. Yeah, I, I don't sleep much. Uh, you my, know, a lot, you're I, always I'm, going someplace, doing something. I'm not something. a young, young man, so it's, it's, sometimes it gets a little difficult. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. You just find the, 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 the energy to keep going. Just find that adrenaline. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would keep a... a I'm going to let a secret out that not a lot of people know. I actually have pretty bad stage fright. And I always have a couple of drinks before a show. I mm -hmm. keep a bottle of Jack Daniels in my dressing room and have a couple of drinks to make sure I'm not a bundle right. of nerves because I'll forget everything. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's better than meditation it's part or of, whatever. Yeah, it's part of what I do. I play some music. I find my character. You do a hit. Start, I, I, I do a hit. <laughs> I have a couple of shots. Right. I, I do my makeup. I talk to myself in the mirror. And by the time it's all over, I'm that character. Right. I'm who I need to not be. so weird. You've done it so long, but that's so, like so internalized. So you play drunks a lot. I play a lot of drunks. But they, I play drunk a lot. Yeah. Do you think the stage <laughs> fright from a, from a Freudian, do you think there's an insecurity there? Or every actor is afraid of failure? I, you know what? I think every actor goes through through the same thing and if they don't say they don't they are, they're lying it's it hits you as you're standing backstage behind the curtain waiting for your cue and you're waiting for your cue and you're waiting for whatever that moment is that you're going to walk on stage and you're terrified everyone's terrified and you're running through your lines and you and, and then what terrifies you here's what, what is you're exposed you? you're, expo I, I, you're going to be exposed that's, to the world. that's a good question to, to me that's what i want to get to yeah. to me it'd be vapor walk forgetting a line because that, it is that's, very difficult that's, to remember everything that's that's part of it you don't want to forget a line you don't forget a song cue you don't want to forget your cue you know what it you is you don't know where to walk i in. know what it is i know what it is do tell me evolutionary it, um, we used to be out in public all the time, mm -hmm. back at uh, caveman days. You were out naked, literally. Sure. And yeah. Now we're not as much. We're closeted. Mm -hmm. But acting, sports, it's one of the few things left. You're really in the public arena. Right. You're exposed to you're everyone. Just in front of everyone. Well, it's also like, anything you do wrong is there. Anything you do right, you're judged wrongly right. or rightly or subjectively. You are public property. Right. You have a consciousness of it being a public performance where you're expected to do all these things and remember them, right. and that should scare you. And it's scary. It but really it, is. But also to embarrass yourself, even if you don't, you think to embarrass yourself in front of so many people is the worst. In front of and your peers. And you're, think you're, about you're, it. What a the expert. You're the expert. <laughs> Well, really? what a chance you're taking. Look what you, look you what are you taking here. Chances. What a chance you're taking. Have you fucked I mean, up you were anyway? live for a long yeah. while here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what a chance you guys took. This is on tape. You slip up and say something stupid. Yeah. It's out there yeah. for people to say. But no. you guys, you guys for a long, when I first came here, we were live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that first show, as a matter of fact, Janet was on that first show with me. Right. And her mic stopped working. Right, I Do you remember, remember that? that. Yes, yeah. There's a lot of that, and yeah. we just we well, just vamp through. I know what it is. You're to, trying to, to deliver be honest, excellence. I, I cut her line. Is that what yeah. you do? No, but you're I'm trying to. to you were being. You're trying to del deliver excellence in a public forum, and you might fail badly in front yeah. of peers, in yeah. front of your your fellow primates, and that and that could last forever. It's that. It's yeah. that. Yeah. It's the fear of that. It's the fear of a thousand different things. But the minute your foot hits the stage, it goes away. Do you care what people think about you? To a degree, yes, and to a degree, no. I really don't care about people's opinions of me in the least. As an actor, I mean. Uh, as an actor, I, I, I care what people think of me as whether or not I've done my best. Okay. Whether or not I've given them their money's worth. Those people in the audience have paid a lot of money to see that show. Right. And, they've, and I've, I've said this to people that I've worked with because they, they've given me the razzmatazz backstage. And I said, you see those, all those, those two, three, four hundred people out there? They all paid their money. To see this show and to see you and to see me. So you're talking about a transaction. And right. they, you have well, to it's deliver. not even a transaction. But I'm not, okay, so you go to a show. You go to see Joseph and the Amazing Technical or Dream Coat, and the Pharaoh comes out, which is the best part of the show. Everybody's, and he just stinks. He's just horrible. How let down are you going to be? 
Yeah, but What's the first thing you're going to say? I want my money back. I spent my money to yeah. see that, and that guy didn't know what he My was. time now, too. My right. time and money. You, you waste it. You want to give those people, money's not easy to come by. You want to give those people what they paid right. for. You want to give those people a good show. If you are any kind of performer, no matter how good you are at it, there are going to be people who hate you. you the better you are, the more you're hated. Right. The better and, you are, the more you're hated. And I talked to an actor out in L.A., now I figured a character actor, and he said, you know, you can't respond to most criticism because the criticism comes from them. For, they're doing it for their own reasons, not really being most objective about you. Most people criticize themselves. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's most what of he the said. people that criticize you don't have the guts to go do what you're doing. Exactly. It's hard to be diplomatic and about it because mm -hmm. sometimes they have a point mm -hmm. and then other times and they don't You don't want to be a prima donna. How do you respond right. to that? But they, you know? some people try to tear you. You told me people try to tear you down sometimes. Oh, yeah. There's some, there's some people every once in a while I on see them and I want to I want to give them a I've shot. I've seen the Facebook. You should have heard what he said about you right before no. the show. Before my mother? Yeah, yeah I mean, right no. before that. Wow. Yeah, I didn't tell you about that, but it was no. even no, worse. No, but I see Laura. I think you're great. I think you're going to be, I think, I want to see you, maybe you get typecast, but why not? And a Sopranos type thing, fine. You know what? But, you know, but some people try to tear you down, which I think, they're hateful people. Let it's let part it. of the human condition, though, maybe. You know something? Mick Jagger said there's no such thing as bad press. Okay. You're talking good, you're talking bad, it gets you're out talking. There. It's out there. And My right, name's and, out there. And they can't say you've been given your best shot. No. Quickly, though, your life in Toromora, which I think is great because it feeds your art, it might kill you at the end, but you have, you know, you're, you're enjoying just focusing on acting, you left a job, lots of, what about this women? The, caught up in the women world. Part of the spoils of success or the tumult of success? I, I guess, I guess there's, there comes, a, uh, I was a professional musician for years, you know, that I toured the world and the country with bands and now I do this and women seem to come along with that venue and um, it's not all, it's not uh, torrid, it's not disgusting. I mean, you date people and you see people and you're with Does people. Does it complicate your life though? Not really. Sometimes it does. Some people are very jealous. It's hard when you're with somebody that's very jealous and very because they got to understand that they don't own you. You right. belong to all these other people. Like there's on my Facebook, there's four or five thousand people and my acting pages. I mean, I got I don't know how many thousand happy birthdays right. from all around the world. This but year. some of these women might change the agenda. They say, oh, I'm good with the way it is. And all of a sudden you find that out happens. they want more. That right. happens. It's, and a, it's a good insurance policy to stick to postmenopausal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually worry about you. I actually worry. They say in the Philippines that they, they'll come, women, jealous women will come and they'll cut that off. I worry that's going to happen to you. They, they, they you have a lot of women and a lot of pork. They need a big blade. They need a big blade. <laughs> <laughs> you might need your own bodyguard, Brian's though. Packing I've America. seen your Facebook, yeah. and you do have, I don't, I'm not saying you're using mm -hmm. I don't say you mislead. But, the, you know, there's enough women out there that might be complications and their expectations and their emotional state could cause you trouble. They, they, yeah, that does happen. But I'm very straight with everybody. I'm very honest. I don't lie. Number one, that's the first Is thing that I after do the not orgasm do. or before the orgasm? Both. Both. During, okay. after. I never lie. I always I lie. lie. Oh, we have one minute now. This okay. Are you going to be around after? The, are we going to talk or do you have to go? Yeah, we can talk afterwards. You want to do it? Yeah, sure. I'll stay for the round table. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. stay. Oh, okay. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, for, oh, something. Yeah. Adam Beerman. We'll be right back.